Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to paint a simple floral pattern on a glass coffee cup. I will be using two different methods. First with my usual porcelain paint and the second one using metallic markers that are meant to be used on glass among other surfaces. When it comes to porcelain paint you need to check if it's meant to be used on glass as not all of them are. Depending on the brand of the paint there may be differences in how to burn the mug and what surfaces to use the paint on. The one I am using luckily is meant for glass as well. The first glass jar I painted was around 5 years ago and I can confirm the paint holds well on it without any signs of wear. This jar was painted as an accessory to a board game to help with rolling the dice and we can see it doesn't have any visible marks of usage. Let's look at the painting process for the first cup. I stick some colorful paper on the inside. It will help me to space out my flowers better, but also since I am using white paint on glass, it would not show well on camera. So this will give a better contrast, so the painting process will be more visible. I start painting in the outlines of my flowers, trying to keep the center geometrically in the correct place. Now I don't want the flowers to be specifically symmetrical. I want to go for a natural look with some petals bigger, thinner, longer or just missing and creating a small gap. The advantage of using this paint is that you can easily remove it if you make a mistake while painting. So I am able to change the petals even once the paint dries, but of course not after I burn it in the oven. I'm not terribly worried about the paint being patchy in places, as I want to achieve this shading effect. Once I complete the outlines, I will fill them in also with white paint and try to create a shading of sorts. Since it's the first time I am trying the shading effect, I am not sure how it will turn out. So you can choose to paint a different style, for example just make the flowers opaque and use different colors for a more vibrant effect. I will be putting more paint at the top of the petal and thin it out towards the flower center. To make everything pop I decided to add gold paint once the shading is finished. I thought it would look great on the leaves if they had visible veins. I just really like this color combination. Let me tell you a little bit more about porcelain paints. There are different types of porcelain paint, meant to be used for professional purposes more than a hobby. The difference of course is in durability. The professional porcelain paints have to be burned at around 800 degrees Celsius. Yep, that's correct, 800 degrees Celsius. And they will last a lifetime or until the mug gets broken. But the paint will certainly not exhibit anywhere and would be suitable for dishwashers. The regular hobby paint I am using gets burned at around 160 degrees Celsius. As for the longevity of such paint, the oldest mug I have is from around 10 years ago and I used it heavily pretty much every day and washed by hand. You can see spots of wear on the paint considering the amount it's been used. I would say it held up pretty well. Hobby paint Paints tend to be more thick and so it would be difficult to apply them with a pen. Although I may try one day just to see if that's possible. But the professional porcelain paints are usually applied with a pen instead of a brush. So if you are looking for something that would last generations then definitely it's worth investing in the porcelain paints that are meant for professional use. However if you just want something nice to have for 10-15 years something like that then I think these are more than sufficient. Of course it will depend on how well you take care of the mug. I'm really happy with how this mug turned out. I would love to repeat this pattern on a bigger glass mug for myself. So be on the lookout for more flowery patterns on this channel. Next up are metallic markers. These do not require burning and apparently dry in just 10 seconds, which is perfect for a quick craft. I cannot attest for the durability, but that's what we will be checking now. I will use the same method as with porcelain paint to space out my design, but this time it will be a colorful design, as this set does not come with white marker. This is just a really cheap set for the purpose of testing. I honestly didn't have high hopes for it, but I was pleasantly surprised. They seem to be juicy, except the orange color. I had to work it a bit to make it flow in the end. The metallic effect was really reasonable, it looked nice. I noticed it was especially good when dotting. I suppose they are meant for decorating glass with dots, which makes sense. Still, even with me trying to draw, 
I would say these markers managed well. My pattern was pretty much similar to the previous one. It just went much faster than with porcelain paints. But the proof is in the pudding, so the bottom line is if these will survive hand wash and just general use. Like when you put a hot beverage in the glass or hold it with both hands. And I can safely say these markers do not, most certainly they don't survive the test. Even after I finished painting, they failed the touch test, even though they are supposed to dry in 10 seconds. The paint came off and stained my finger, but I still gave it the benefit of the doubt and waited a full 24 hours to see if it will make a difference. But it didn't. Perhaps adding a sealant would do the job and help them survive as a decoration, um, but not a functional object. Uh, for me, it just wasn't worth the hassle to add the sealant to the whole thing. Maybe in the future I will try more markers that are not porcelain paint, just to make sure I am not missing out on anything. Uh, one last uh, option I would like to suggest is porcelain paint markers, which is probably the best of both worlds. As it is a paint that will be durable after burning, but at the same time, if you don't like dealing with brushes, you will be able to use markers. Let me know which cup you preferred more, the one I made with porcelain paints or the one I made with markers. That's it from me today. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. It would definitely make my day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.